What is Davos, and have you ever wondered what really happens at the Davos Economic Forum? This yearly gathering, nestled in the heart of the Swiss Alps, has been a hub of global influence for nearly half a century. But what is it that makes Davos so significant? The Davos World Economic Forum, known simply as Davos, is a melting pot of ideas, where the world's most powerful individuals, from heads of state to business moguls, come together to shape global, regional, and industry agendas. It's a place where decisions taken can reverberate around the globe, impacting economies, societies, and individuals alike. But it's not just a meeting of the minds, it's a gathering of innovators, trailblazers, and forward thinkers. It's an opportunity to discuss and address the world's most pressing issues, from climate change to economic inequality, from technological advancements to societal transformations. And it's not just about the discussions had within the conference halls. Davos is a phenomenon that extends beyond the meetings and the speeches. It's about the informal conversations, the side meetings, the networking opportunities. It's a chance for world leaders to discuss shared challenges off the record, for business leaders to forge new partnerships, and for thought leaders to share their insights. The allure of Davos isn't just its high-profile guest list or its picturesque alpine setting, it's the anticipation of what could be achieved, the potential for progress, the promise of a better future. This anticipation is what keeps the world's eyes firmly fixed on this small Swiss town every January. But how did it all begin? Who were the visionaries who saw the potential in a remote Alpine town? What was their motivation and what were their aspirations? And how has Davos managed to retain its relevance and its influence in an ever-changing world? These are the questions we'll be exploring as we delve deeper into the Davos enigma. The story of Davos Economic Forum is as intriguing as the event itself. Like many great things, it began as a simple idea, a spark in the mind of one man, Professor Klaus Schwab. In the early 70s, the world was in the throes of a shifting economic landscape. Professor Schwab, a German economist and engineer, saw an opportunity amidst this change. Recognizing a need for a platform where business leaders could meet and exchange ideas, Schwab founded the European Management Forum in 1971. The inaugural event, held in the snowy town of Davos, Switzerland, was a modest gathering of European business leaders. But even from these humble beginnings, it was clear that Schwab had tapped into something extraordinary. As the forum grew, so did its scope. By 1987, the gathering had evolved into the World Economic Forum, attracting not only business leaders, but also politicians, intellectuals, and even celebrities from around the globe. But why Davos? Nestled in the Swiss Alps, its geographical isolation provides an ideal setting for open and frank discussions, away from the prying eyes of the world. The motivation behind the Davos Economic Forum was simple yet profound. Schwab envisioned a world where leaders could come together to tackle global challenges. He believed in the power of dialogue and collaboration, the idea that when the world's most influential minds gather in one place, extraordinary things can happen. Over the years, the forum has expanded to include social and political issues, reflecting the interconnected nature of our world. From climate change to income inequality, Davos has become a platform where the world's most pressing issues are debated and solutions proposed. Thus began a tradition that would shape global economic and political landscapes for years to come. The Davos Economic Forum, born in a small Swiss town, has grown into a global powerhouse, a place where ideas are shared, alliances are formed, and the future is shaped. As we look forward to the next chapter of this remarkable story, one thing is clear. The spirit of collaboration and innovation that sparked the genesis of Davos remains at its heart. Over the decades, the Davos Economic Forum has made its mark on the world. In the vast spectrum of global economics and policy, the Davos Economic Forum has consistently etched its influence. Its achievements are far-reaching, impacting not just the realms of economics and business, but also affecting social and environmental landscapes. One cannot deny the Forum's role in shaping global policy. Each year the world's most influential decision-makers gather at this Swiss winter wonderland to discuss and strategize on pressing global issues. These annual dialogues have led to significant international collaborations and policy shifts. For instance, in the early 90s, Davos played a pivotal role in promoting globalization, fostering an era of unprecedented economic integration. In the realm of business, Davos has served as a powerful platform for corporations and startups alike. Its unique setting allows for informal interactions, leading to unexpected collaborations and innovative business solutions. 
From the rise of green technologies to the evolution of digital economies, the forum's influence is unmistakable. But the forum's impact extends beyond economics. Over the years Davos has addressed a range of social issues from gender equality to mental health. It has amplified the voices of those often unheard, shaping global conversations and driving change. Furthermore, the forum has made significant strides in the environmental arena. Climate change, once a fringe issue, has climbed to the top of the Davos agenda, prompting world leaders and businesses to take substantial action. In addition to these tangible achievements, the forum has had a profound cultural impact. It has fostered a global mindset, encouraging leaders to think beyond borders and to view challenges from a global perspective. These achievements are a testament to the forum's influence and its role in shaping our world. Reflecting on the past, we can see the vast influence of Davos, but its true power lies in its ability to shape the future, to guide our world towards a more equitable, sustainable, and prosperous tomorrow. But what really goes on during the Davos Economic Forum? Well, picture a gathering where the world's most influential leaders from varied fields converge, from politics to business, academia to arts, all under the snow-capped peaks of the Swiss Alps. That's the Davos experience. It's a whirlwind of vibrant discussions, thought-provoking panel sessions, private meetings, and informal networking. The topics? They span the spectrum. Climate change, global economy, technology, health, and beyond. Unique practices? Absolutely. The Davos Forum is known for its informal, open atmosphere. No ties required, literally and figuratively. This encourages frank, constructive dialogues. It's not uncommon to see a world leader sipping coffee with a tech innovator, or a Nobel laureate sharing insights with an entrepreneur. And why does it happen every January? Well, the start of a new year symbolizes fresh beginnings, new ideas, and renewed commitments. It's a time when leaders can set the tone for the year ahead, discussing global challenges and seeking collective solutions. Now you may be wondering, how can I participate? Participation is by invitation only, extended to the forum's members, partners, and selected stakeholders. However, the discussions and insights are shared widely through various channels, making the knowledge accessible to all. The Davos experience is not just about the discussions, though, it's also about the unique setting. Nestled in the heart of the Swiss Alps, Davos provides a serene backdrop that fosters reflection and dialogue. The crisp air, the snowy landscapes, the tranquil ambiance, all add to the allure of the Davos experience. And it's not all work and no play. The forum also hosts cultural events, showcasing global arts and traditions and yes, even parties, giving participants a chance to unwind and connect in a relaxed setting. In essence, the Davos Economic Forum is not just a meeting. It's a melting pot of ideas, a platform for change, a catalyst for progress. It's a place where the leaders of today shape the world of tomorrow. Being at Davos is indeed a unique and enriching experience. As we stand at the brink of Davos 2024, what should we expect? This year, 2024, the 54th annual meeting of the World Economic Forum will convene under the theme, Rebuilding Trust, to provide the crucial space to step back and focus on the fundamental principles driving trust, including transparency, consistency, and accountability. It's a call to arms for the world's leaders, economists, and innovators to rethink and rebuild our economies in a way that is sustainable, inclusive, and resilient. The forum is set to host a diverse range of voices from titans of industry to grassroots activists, all united by a common goal, to shape a better future. At Davos 2024, we're expecting heated debates, groundbreaking ideas, and a relentless pursuit of solutions to our most pressing global issues. The world's eyes will be on the biggest players, the movers and shakers, the ones who can turn promises into action. But it's not just about who's in attendance, it's about the conversations that will be started, the partnerships that will be formed, and the actions that will be taken. For many, Davos is not just a conference, it's a catalyst for change. It's a place where the world's most powerful people come together to discuss, challenge, and ultimately shape the global economic and political landscape. Looking beyond 2024, Davos will continue to play a pivotal role in global affairs. As our world becomes more interconnected and complex, the need for a place like Davos, where leaders can convene to address shared challenges and opportunities, will only grow. We can expect Davos to evolve, to adapt, and to continue breaking new ground. Whether it's championing new economic models, fostering inclusive growth, or driving sustainable development, Davos will continue to be at the forefront, setting the agenda, and pushing us all to think bigger, 
act bolder, and work together for a better world. So, as we prepare for Davos 2024 and look ahead to the future, one thing is clear. The world needs Davos, now more than ever. And Davos, in return, is ready to rise to the challenge. As the world watches, Davos continues to be a beacon of global dialogue and cooperation, shaping our collective future.